Yeah. Never seen them before. Oh, these are my friends. I just need to talk to you. I, I told you I, I didn't see them. I understand that. But there's just one more thing. I really need to know where you got your pin. Yikes, I wonder who does his house cleaning. He just wanted to hide. I think some bad guys are after him. I didn't do anything wrong. He gave it to me. He said it was from his daughter that would bring good luck. You dropped this earlier. I'd like to take you to a hospital. No. No, no, no hospital. Well, he might be injured. No hospital, please. Okay. But you can't stay here. Do you come with me and I'll take you wherever you want to go? He wouldn't go to a hospital. Come to the back, I'll get you something to make you feel better. He's gonna fix him. I don't wanna know. Do you know who he is? His name is Gavin Baraka. He's new to this country. He says he was tortured in his homeland. Why? For speaking out against the government. Does he have any family? They were all killed, except a daughter. She lives here. Did he tell you all this? I give him herbs so that he can deal with his fears. He thinks the people are still after him. I didn't believe him until today when that man came in with the photograph. I thought he looked dangerous. But now I think maybe Gavin's telling the truth. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna track down his daughter. Amina? I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. Oh, that's too bad, because if she did live here, then I would be able to tell her where her father is. If she did live here, which of course she doesn't, she might find that very interesting. Well, if she did live here, then I would tell her, and only her, exactly where her father is. Would you excuse me? Impressive, isn't it? Very. The Callisto used to be a hotel, you know. Rock stars, movie stars, you name it. They all stay here. <laughs> well, what happened? It was sold. The new owner decided to convert it into private apartments for special tenants. told about my father is true and much much more it's been through unimaginable horrors fortunately I was able to get him out of the country after the rest of my family well what about now are there people still after your father in this country I mean only his nightmares well I don't mean to alarm you but I think someone is following your father there was a man asking questions about him earlier today We meet again. Nancy, allow me to introduce you to Simon, the man who saved my father's life.
It's all right. Simon is a friend of Mr. Baracus. I'm his daughter. You gave us quite a scare, Gavin. Take me home. Thank you. I'll get his remedies. Can we take you somewhere nice? Oh, no, that's OK. I'm staying with friends. Are you living with them? Yeah, until I can afford a place of my own. Miss Drew, Amina would like you to come with us. We'll take you exactly where you want to go. Do paths cross for a reason? I've always believed that the intersection of lives is a random event, merely coincidence. Gavin and Amina would disagree, of course. They would call it fate or destiny. All I know is that the demons that drove Gavin to slip away from Simon in search of a way to ease his pain have also had an extraordinary impact on me. For even though I've always preferred the logical approach, hard evidence, it's hard not to believe that Gavin and I met for a reason. After all, we both needed to find our way home. <laughs>